Hi guys, today's video is just an introduction into statistics. So uh, today's objectives are to define statistics and its purposes, and then to also define the related statistical concepts used in drawing inferences. Okay, so we're going to start with objective number one, so defining st statistics. So what is it? Well, it's a practice of collecting, it's a practice of interpreting, of analyzing and presenting data for the purpose of um, inferring proportions uh, and characteristics about a population given that we're only taking a small sample from that population, okay? So, if we go to objective two and we start defining some of our statistical concepts, so we have to start off with the types of, types of statistics that we have. So firstly, it's descriptive, that's our first type. So that's using a number to quantify uh, or describe the main features of the sample by being descriptive and quantifying something we're having um, it produce a number that kind of summarizes the data for us so, in, so examples of, of this are the mean or average or the mode so um, the mode is how the the number that shows uh, that shows up as the most in the sample that we've taken the range so the maximum and minimum and also the median which is the middle Okay, so these provide simple summaries of our data when taken at face value. So for example, our mean will tell us the average of the, de uh, the data that we sample. Okay, and then we also have um, inferential statistics. So after we have some of these descriptive statistics, inferential statistics um, allows us to use some of the sample data and various summary tools to learn about the population that the sample data is drawn from and thought to reflect, okay? So if we imagine uh, a group of people is our population, so everyone, and what statistics try to do, we draw a sample from that population, um, learn about that sample and try to infer certain things about the population from that uh, sample and statistics. So, um, okay, so if we remember, um, define a definition of a population is pretty much all of the things in a certain class of what we want to know about it. So, for example, um, if it was about people, it would be the population would be everyone, so all human beings. And then a parameter or population parameter is just a characteristic of that population. So, for example, a population parameter might be the age of everyone or the age of people, okay? So then, um, if I give you an example, the height of universi university students um, at Harvard. So, oops, so, the height of university students at Harvard, if we go to, um, just move it here. So, um, first I'll just define what a sample is. A sample is a small part of... Uh, a set or data that is taken from the population and then the sample size is the size of the data that we've taken so for example if um, if 200 university students had them um, met the, their heights measured at Harvard the sample size will be the size of our sample which is 200 the population will be all university students at Harvard at Harvard Okay, and okay, then we move on to a statistic. So a statistic is a piece of um, data obtained from a sample or about a sample. So for example, if uh, 200 uni students had a mean height of 170 centimeters, the statistic would be 170 centimeters is the mean height. Okay, so that is a statistic, and that's compared to a population parameter, which is um, the for example, the mean height of all university students, of, of the population, okay? And then uh, statistical inferences. So um, after the process of using information provided by statistics, so for example, our mean here, uh, we can then make estimates and predictions about the population we are sampling. So for example, we might say, um, given the 170 centimeter mean that we got from our sample, we could um, generalize or predict that um, the average height of the uni students at Harvard, of all students, is around 170 centimeters. So that's what um, inferential statistics try to do. Okay. So yeah, that's just what ex that's what explained here. And then lastly, so what do we actually use this data for? So there are a lot of uses. So we have a confidence level. 
and um, that gives us the probability that the statistic would be correct if the same um, experiment was conducted. So for example, if we did have a high confidence level, that would mean that uh, most likely if we did repeat the um, the trial or experiment over and over again, we get a similar result. So of course, um, for every experiment, we want to get as um, a high confidence level as possible. Then we also have something called the significance level, which is pretty much just the opposite. So the probability that the statistic would be incorrect if the same ex um, experiment was conducted. So of course we want to have the highest confidence level that we can and the lowest, lowest significance level that we can as well. Okay, so there are, um, there are a couple of situations. So um, we can have high confidence level and low significance level, which means they're um, most likely um, we have a high prob probability that that 170 centimeter mean would be um, right or would be similar um, if we tested it again and if we have low significance level it just means that um, it's more likely to um, not be wrong okay so um, all in all so the confidence level and, and the significance level are complementary of each other so they do add up to 100% so, for example, if we had a 98% confidence level, we'd have a 2% significance level, okay? So, um, that's the introduction video to statistics. I hope you learned something today, guys. Thank you. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.